Alright guys, so real quick before I get into the video, I just want to give a huge shout out to Puzzle Masters for actually sending me a really cool puzzle to the mail. They actually sent me two. Um, I still have yet to figure out how they work, so I'm going to leave a link in the description box. It'll take you guys to their website, that way you guys can buy um, your own puzzles. And like I said before, I have been working on this. Um, I haven't, I have not figured out just yet. It says it's a level one, but I'm not really a, um, I'm not really somebody who does puzzles at any time of the day. Not one of these little metal ones, anyways. So, like I said, I don't have too much experience. But once I do figure this out, I'll make a video with it. I don't want to look like a complete idiot on camera. But like I said, guys, um, it's pretty cool. It's solid metal. And if you guys are interested in something like this, make sure to comment down below if you want to see more videos, you know, about puzzles and whatnot. And also, don't forget to check them out in the description box as well. Anyways, on to the card trick. All right, so to start this trick off, all you want to do is go ahead and take uh, the spectator and have them pick any three random cards uh, from throughout the deck. So these are all face up. Okay, you don't have to shuffle the deck because they're all face up. The spectator can look at these three cards. Make sure you remember them. We have the king of hearts, eight of diamonds, and the jack. Uh, or yeah, king of hearts, eight of diamonds, jack of diamonds. You put these. What you're going to do is tell the spectator that you're going to lose these three cards into the middle of the deck. One, two three cards and they all get lost into the middle of the deck somewhere you guys can see me pushing those in you shuffle up the deck you can show your spec here these three cards are nowhere to be found and all you have to do is take one of the cards from the middle plop it out and hopefully we should have one of those cards and in case we do we have the king of hearts we can go ahead shuffle up the rest of the deck this way we know the cards are getting mixed up and all you have to do is tell your spectators okay so we've cut up the deck a little bit we've shuffled it you can go ahead and take one, two, three. Shuffle up a little bit more. Hopefully we should have, this should be maybe the eight of diamonds, for example. And the last card, I believe, you said, let's go ahead and look through the deck a little bit. You can go ahead and show your spectators. Okay, so the next card down should be the jack of diamonds, right? So in this case, it's not the jack of diamonds. You can go ahead and show your spectators, look at it again. Give the card, and it is going to be that jack of diamonds. So this is the super simple card trick guys. You take three cards, you make it look like you're putting it into the middle, and then you can pull them right out through the middle of the deck. And this is the trick. Don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. Alright, so the good part about this trick is that it honestly really isn't too difficult. Um, you can have a borrowed deck, you can have a spectator go ahead, shuffle up the cards, it doesn't really matter. Uh, the main point I would say about this is that there's two ways of doing this. Um, I believe this trick is called Three Robbers. Um, and the way I've normally seen it performed is using the die burn and flip over move where you have three cards and you put those in a pinky break and then when you put your hands down to your side you flip them over and you can hold it like this but because of the limitations I have here with this camera and I only have my own, my hands in the middle um, I have to do the trick a little bit differently and I would recommend doing this method for beginners only because it doesn't require as much skill as a die burn and flip over but I guess I'll explain both of them. So in the performance, all you have to do, let's say you have your spectator, they take the deck, they shuffle it up. All you have to do is before the trick starts, you take three cards off the top of the deck. You flip those over and these are three random cards. It doesn't matter what they are. The spectator is not seeing this. This is all them beforehand. Take those cards and fold them together just a little bit. Don't really crease them. Just you know fold them so there's a little bit of a bend. This might be a bit exaggerated, but you have three cards that are bent right there. You flip the deck over. Okay, now spectators, at this point, this is how you approach them. You just have the cards like this. You go ahead, make sure not to flash those bottom cards. You spread the deck here, and you have the spectator pick three cards and make sure they do it from the middle. In this case, we have the 10. Like I said, it really doesn't matter. They're just random cards. Make sure you don't spread all the way to the back. You have these three spectators' cards, and all you do is make sure the spectators get a good look at these three cards. They're completely random, um, and you can have the spectators, if you have three of them, make sure... They each pick a single card. All you do is you flip them over. You put them right on the bottom of the deck. Literally just right on the bottom, right below that break. And you square everything up and you can flip the deck over. And what you can do is show the spectators, okay, you have the 10, the 7, and the jack. Okay, now you don't spread too much. You just show them these three cards. Put it back on the table. And the reason you bent those cards at the beginning was so you could form a natural break. And if you look over here on the bottom or on the top of the deck here underneath the six cards or so you can pick it up very easily and since those cards are back to back they're all resting on the break and all you have to do is say okay so we have the ten the seven and the jack here take these cards you flip them over it looks like you flip three cards over but in reality you've, you've um, flipped over six cards right so now that you have these three cards that are bent on the deck as you can see they fell out of my hand 
those three cards are still going to be kind of bent. So what you can do is once you flip over those cards, I'll do it in real time so you guys can see this real quick. So these are three cards. You flip them over like this, and you can riffle the deck a little bit. That way it gets rid of that bend that was there before. Now the cards look super, super natural. All you have to do is take three cards, put those in the middle, and these now are not the three cards that were there before. So in this case, the three cards the spectators chose are still on the deck. You square it up, and from here the trick is pretty much done. It's kind of like um, an ambitious card routine in a way, kind of putting the cards in the middle, they all come back to the top. But um, in regards to how you bring them back to the top of the deck, it's kind of up to you. So I'll give you the methods I used and then maybe some other some other tips you guys could do as well. And there's a bunch of different ways that you guys can actually use to bring up the cards from the middle of the deck and then bring them to the top. Because like I said, it's kind of like an ambitious card routine. Um, but the one I used was the uh, the die or the uh, Banzai spin out production, which makes it look like you're taking a card from the middle, but in reality you're just taking it from the top, and it kind of looks like it's just shooting out there. And in that case, you take the first card, and that's basically what it does. You just shuffle the deck, you spin it out using the Banzai spin out, and then from here you have two more cards that you still have to bring up, right? So what you can do is shuffle the deck once again. And then what I did was a false swivel cut, and I'll you know leave a link for that as well. You just do a false swivel cut. And then I did a, this is another suit, this is the easiest false cut I know. You take the top half, the middle, and the bottom, and you square everything back up. And after cutting those cards, you're left with the same exact order. You put out the second card, and then um, the last way you can bring up the card is this card's on top. So there's a couple different things you could do. Um, what I did was just a simple double lift. And then, you know, twist the card off and make it look like it's theirs. But uh, that's how I saw Chris Ramsey do it a while ago. I think he did a tutorial for this trick as well. Um, but there's also different ways. What you could do, I guess, is do a double undercut or something. And, you know, leave a card on top, shuffle. And now you have the card in the second position. So what you do is you flip over the top card, show this to the spectator. You just say, oh, wait, hold on. This isn't your card, right? And then you can do a shape shifter or something. That way... You can mix up the trick a little bit more. So there's tons of different things you could do with it. I just showed you pretty much the most basic bare bones. This way you guys can you know do it on your own, whatever, and figure it out for yourself. So like I said before, don't forget to go in the description box. Check out Puzzle Master. I will be doing a uh, video as soon as I can once I figure this out. I have not figured it out yet. Uh, but uh, like I said, guys, hope you guys enjoy the video. And as always, thanks for watching. Hillary Coffin, she's a literal vampire, belly goblin, hobbling, bound, chasing after you.